Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel Canopus. I'm Radhika Salia. In this video, we are going to learn how to write screenshot testing of composable function. So, let's get started. I have already created project which show the list of user on a screen. We are showing name and email of username on screen. Let's have a quick look of UI. Here is our user list view. And uh, we are showing the first letter of username inbox and uh, name and uh, email in column. Let's run the application. And uh, here is our result. Now, let me show you the helper class which we are going to use uh, to compare the screenshot of our composable. Now, let's add class for screenshot test. Give it a name uh, user list screenshot test. Let's add a rule get rule compose rule and uh, create android compose rule and our main activity goes here now let's add test test user list first let's set content with the help of compose rule so we are going to add test for preview user list let's add it here and uh, and now we use asset screenshot match is golden it takes three parameter folder name golden name and the node to test we have very handy api which capture our compose and uh, convert it into a bitmap And that capture bitmap we will save in cache directory. We will move that screenshot image to our app assets folder. Now let's run the test. It's supposed to fail first time as we don't have file in our folder. Let's find it in data. Here is our package screenshot testing, and in our file test, we have our user list PNG. Let's move it in our asset folder. First, we need to create a asset folder in our Android test. Let's add test directory. Let's move that screenshot here. Now we are good to go. Let's run test again. And yes, it's working. Now let's modify our UI. Let's uh, set background color black instead of light gray. And it's supposed to fail. Let's see new screenshot yeah we have a black background now let's change padding value from 10 dp to 8 dp again our test failed with the message that size match but bitmap content has different obviously we have changed padding value from 10 to 8 dp let's compare both the screenshot Now 
now let's remove contained element from box and uh, rerun test it's supposed to fail let's take new screenshot now revert the changes and run test again okay that's it hope you learned something if you think video was helpful please share it with your friend please share your question and suggestion in the comment section below also you can reach out us on our twitter handle which is also mentioned below in the description box and don't forget to subscribe for future updates